You guys remember Pack State, right? Admittedly, I've never done a dedicated video on it. I probably should, now that I think about it. It is an upcoming social sandbox MMO that released a trailer, I think earlier this year, that genuinely looked pretty freaking good, especially given it's not an Eastern MMO. And admittedly, it is currently in alpha testing and allows for players to go ahead and sign up, but what we're here today to actually discuss is an article that I read over on Massively OP titled Pax Day announces June 11 showcase shares bug filled pictures from recent test, which means just next week, we're gonna get a big showcase, hopefully giving us additional glimpses at how the game is improving, how it's coming along and potentially its future. Usually games are not too willing to share their most unflattering side, relying on sizzle reels, flashy vignettes, and dynamic screenshots to put their best foot forward. The developing, and that, that is genuinely 100% true. And that sets all of these games up for failure because then players have this misconception that a game is going to look and play a certain way. And then when they actually see it for real, see real time gameplay or get in it themselves, they're like, man, this looks and plays shit and they immediately leave. So if you don't set these unrealistic expectations for players, then they might enjoy your game more and stick around longer. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons. You guys allow me to continue to play games like this for a living and I can never truly repay that kindness. Also, if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch every single weekend. You should totally come on over and join me. The developing sandbox MMORPG Pank Stay is a bit different, as Mainframe Industries is electing to share some screenshots of fun and amusing bugs found by friends and family testers on the game's Discord, which we've collected in the gallery below. This look behind the testing curtain isn't to suggest that Pax Day won't try to present itself in the best possible light. However, as the post also confirmed that it will be showcased during the PC gaming show on Sunday, June 11th. The devs at Mainframe Industries are also putting together an FAQ and a new video about building a game's world, which should be arriving in roughly two weeks time. Finally, on the subject of testing, the post confirms that wider alpha testing will not be happening anytime soon, which is kind of sad because I would have loved to have gotten into the alpha test myself, hint, hint. Though it also promises the full package will be available when alpha is ready to begin. Ideally, there will be fewer floating dogs in physics defying houses as seen below. And you know what? It's an alpha test. Who really cares? I feel like I remember when I was testing New World and I actually, I went underwater. I realized I couldn't swim, but I would run out of air and I started drowning and I left the water theoretically you should have regained your air, but I didn't. I, I kept drowning and then I died. I died while out of the water. I continued to run out of air, even though nothing was stopping me from breathing. And those kind of bugs are are sometimes the most amusing to encounter. Here are the, quest <laughs> the questionable <laughs> images. <laughs> I don't know, I immediately think Attack on Titan when I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Run, Aaron! <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you know what? That's just, that's just realism, right? That is realism at its finest. You can light your butt on fire. Are we looking at the tree falling here, or are we looking at the fact that she has absolutely no face? Flying wolves. And more importantly, the wolves are actually ignoring the deer there. They're all looking at something over that way. Maybe it's like a, a waifu wolf. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be looking at here. That looks completely normal to me. That also looks completely normal to me. Well, other than the fact that this kind of reminds me of a Stormwind soldier from uh, World of Warcraft. I mean, yeah, there's a floating torch there and there and in various other locations, but maybe, maybe there's like a telekinesis skill and he's just levitating them. I mean, that's more scary than anything else. Kind of reminds me of a scene from, uh, that, uh, oh man, the, like the fairy tale with the three bears and the, the girl that sleeps in their house 
uh, Red Riding, no, not Red Riding Hood. Oh God, what was it? Goldilocks and the Three Bears, there we go. That kind of reminds me of that. Admittedly, some people in this game are very creative. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, this is an easy way of acquiring materials. He'll clearly never run out of washcloths. <laughs> I mean, that seems more like an issue with foundation. And you know what, that, that makes sense, right? It's cold, he's naked. Clearly, the, the bears were not happy that he was eating their porridge. And those <laughs> those are really some very amusing images. You know what? I'm, I'm glad that PAX Day and the, the devs can take shots at their own game, showcasing bugs. Bugs are common in alphas and betas. It's gonna happen. Thinking that it's not is, is just stupid. Anyone that has played an alpha or a beta knows that these are called alpha tests and beta tests for a reason, they are to test the game, not to play the game. Now I'm excited for PAX Day. I actually have a video going over everything we can expect concerning the game, probably later this week for those of you that are interested in knowing more. But if PAX Day isn't the kind of game you're interested in, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be of more interest to you.